The concept of the quantum financial system, or QFS for short, is seeing increased attention from investors thanks to the rapid advancement of groundbreaking technologies including quantum computing and artificial intelligence. While these technologies certainly have the potential to transform the financial system, it's important to understand that the online discussion surrounding the topic of the quantum financial system is rife with misinformation and even scams. In this video, we'll help you separate fact from fiction and explain how experts are forecasting quantum computing to actually impact the financial system, as well as help you avoid scams that are taking advantage of the misunderstandings regarding the QFS to steal money from unsuspecting investors. Let's start with an overview of how quantum computing could actually be used in the financial sector. Quantum computing is an emerging field of computation that harnesses the principles of quantum mechanics to encode and manipulate information within a realm that is vastly larger and more adaptable than that of traditional systems. This enables quantum computers to tackle specific problems that lie beyond the capabilities of even the most advanced classical supercomputers working on their own. According to MIT physics professor Aram Harrow, financial institutions are currently just starting to explore quantum computing. Financial organizations engaging with quantum computing are currently testing the technology's applications on small problems to gain clarity on its future uses. As for future applications of quantum computing in the financial sector, Harrow speculates that the technology could be used to train complex machine learning models that cannot be trained effectively on classical computers. He also thinks the technology could be implemented to establish secure communication networks for financial organizations that have very high security requirements. According to him, quantum computers could also be used to create much more complex risk management models that would account for a broader range of possibilities than what is currently possible. The technology is already being tested. Recently, global banking giant HSBC announced that it conducted an experiment in partnership with IBM, leveraging both quantum and classical computing to predict the likelihood of a trade filling at a quoted price. According to the bank, the accuracy of the forecasts improved by up to 34%. While this is not exactly an eye-watering figure, it's important to remember that quantum computing technology is still in its very early stages. Philip Intelura, HSBC's Group Head of Quantum Technologies, stated, We have been relentlessly focused on the near-term application of quantum technology, and given the trial delivered positive results on current quantum computing hardware, we have great confidence we are on the cusp of a new frontier of computing in financial services rather than something that is far away in the future. While quantum computing could provide significant benefits to the financial sector, it could also introduce serious risks. In a paper published by the Bank of International Settlements, researchers say that quantum computers could break encryption schemes that are in widespread use today, requiring a migration to quantum-safe cryptographic infrastructures. The researchers make clear that we don't know for sure when cryptographically relevant quantum computers, or CRQCs, will appear. Based on current trends, however, the researchers speculate we could see a quantum computer capable of breaking some widespread encryption methods to appear already in the 2030s. Each year, the Global Risk Institute releases the Quantum Threat Timeline Report, which synthesizes the insights of leading experts on the current state of quantum computing and the threat it poses for cybersecurity. The 2024 report indicates that 27% of experts expect the emergence of a CRQC to take place within 10 years and 50% expect it within the next 15 years. In the cryptocurrency realm, some digital currencies are already preparing to mitigate the risks of quantum computers breaking encryption models. Some projects that have made significant steps towards quantum resistance include Algorand, Nervos, and Ozone Chain. Before we wrap up the video, we want to clarify that the quantum financial system is simply a loose concept describing how new technologies like quantum computing and AI could transform the financial system, and the topic is, unfortunately, often accompanied by conspiracy theories, baseless speculation, and scams. It's important to remember that the QFS is not an actual project, government initiative, company, or financial network. It has no leadership, employees, offices, or headquarters. Quantum computing is still in its infancy, and even though financial institutions are already experimenting with it, predicting what its large-scale implementation in the financial sector will look like is practically impossible. 
several of our YouTube viewers left comments explaining that they were contacted by people claiming to be representatives of the QFS. If someone is ever contacting you and claiming to be from the QFS, you can be 100% certain that they are trying to steal money from you.